So one thing I do quite often is create new projects and need to copy over the config for TypeScript from other projects as kind of like a getting started. So oftentimes I'll go back to an old project, copy the TS config and put it in the current project I'm working on. So what I wanted to do is kind of streamline that process and not have to go back and copy from an old project and set up a CLI where I can just run like mpx tsconfig.json and then what that will do is it'll prompt me, it'll ask me if I'm making a React, React Native or a Node project and then I tell it which one I'm making and then it will put a tsconfig that I usually use for that environment um, and it'll just create it for me. Um, so this is going to be a two-part series where in this video we're going to be creating the CLI that I just described and then the second video we are going to publish this to npm as a package. So cool. So let's go ahead and get started with actually building out the CLI. So right here I have a folder which I named to mine tsconfig.json. This is just the name of my folder um, and this is the name that I want my package to be. So I am naming it that. Um, and then we're going to start by running npm init-y uh, to initialize this as a node project. So create a folder and run this command. Then we're going to open this up in a text editor. I'm going to open mine up in VS Code. And we're going to create a source slash index.js. This is going to be a pretty simple, oops, this should be a, a .js file. This is going to be a pretty simple um, CLI tool. So I'm going to build it in just JavaScript and rather than trying to set up TypeScript for this. Now you'll notice I actually have three different files set up here. Um, so if we open up the browser over here, we're going to be using two different things. One, we're going to be using Inquire to build the CLI, which I'm going to talk about more in a second. But what I did before this video is just copy the tsconfigs or tsconfig.json files from my Airbnb clone as just a starting point. So I have three of them. So I have a tsconfig.node.json tsconfig.react.json and a react native one. And so these are just three. I may switch up these configs also because I didn't change them yet. I just uh, copied them over. So I'm gonna create a folder called config and put each one of those files there. So this is what we're going to actually copy to the user. So if you want to follow along, you can copy over your own tsconfig that you like, or you can copy mine if you like from the Airbnb clone and I'll link that below. All right, so that is where we're gonna get the actual data for this. Now let's go ahead and start building the CLI with Inquirer. So to start off, we are going to install it. And then after that, we're going to copy this getting started code right here. And we're just gonna paste this in. So how Inquirer works is you can ask the user a series of questions. In this case, we only have one question for them. So here we can first define the type of question we want to ask. In this case, we're going to ask a list of questions. And the other thing to mention here is I'm going with a, a, maybe a different approach than most CLIs. Um, so more CLIs you do see kind of taking the inquire approach. Um, but with the inquire, what's going to happen is it's actually going to prompt you to input more information after you run it, as opposed to uh, adding a flag. Uh, I'm making this choice because I always forget the flags for command line uh, stuff, so I'm just going to create a prompt like this. So here I said I want to give them a list of options to choose from. Um, then I'm going to uh, define the message that I want to ask. So here I'm going to pick, say pick the environment uh, or pick the framework you're using. And then here I can say name. So the name that I give this is what's going to show up here. So here I'm gonna call it framework. And then lastly, I'm going to say choices. And this is where you can put an array of things. So array of strings for the user to pick. So I'm gonna let them pick React, React Native, or Node. So I'm gonna give that a save then down here, I'm going to console log the answers just to show you what this looks like. So we'll give this a save. I'm going to rename this to const. And now I want to run this to see what this bit of code does. So I'm going to go to my package.json and I'm going to add a script called start. 
And all we're gonna do here is say node source slash index.js. So here I'm gonna say npm start. And now we can see what is lining up with what we put in our prompt here. So we said we only get a list and we can see the list of choices here. I can arrow key, um, if I have this focused, I can arrow key up and down and pick the one out of my choices. Um, and then the message here is showing up, pick the framework you're using. And then let's say I pick react, you'll notice it says uh, an object back, the key is framework. So whatever I have my name there and whatever they chose in this case, react. So perfect. So if we want to, we could even, actually, I don't know if you can destructure with vanilla node. I can't remember. So I'm just gonna say answers.framework. So this is either gonna have the value react, react native or node. And you'll notice here that I have tsconfig node, tsconfig react native.json and the names match up directly. Um, so here I'm gonna say react tsconfig is equal to require config slash tsconfig dot react dot json and I'm just going to import each one so react native and then node so node and react native and then here we can just do a if statement so we can say let tsconfig to uh, write is equal to an empty string or we could just call this content but either way and here I'm going to say if it is equal to react then we're going to say tsconfig to write is equal to the react tsconfig else if react native and I'm going to close this for a second. Else they are, they want a node one. So now what I'm going to do is I had the user pick the type of TS config that they wanted or configured for. And then I am just going to write that file wherever they ran this. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is get the path. So that's going to be process dot current working directory. So that should give me the uh, path to where they currently are when they ran this. And then here we're going to say we need to import from the FS module. So we have this available. This is a built in node module and this is what we're going to grab write file for so write file sync and yeah I can destructure this here so I could destructure this um, here so I could say instead of answers could say framework here and save a little bit of code um, so we're gonna say write file sync and here we're gonna say the path so in our case we're gonna say uh, could just say CWD so that's the current working directory and we're gonna say slash tsconfig dot JSON then the data this is what we want to write to this file in this case it's this tsconfig to write and then lastly we're gonna say UTF-8 here um, actually it looks like if not supplied the default is UTF-8 so we don't even have to bother with that uh, so cool so now when we run this whatever framework we pick it is going to pick the TS config associated with it and then it's going to write that in the current location hopefully alright so let's run npm start alright we got something wrong can we not um, just require JSON files. Oh, you know what? It looks like unexpected token. Yeah, looks like I have probably maybe a comment in one of these. Maybe. No. Let's see which line of code exactly it's breaking on. So when it tries to read the React Native one, 
is breaking on position 496. I have no idea which line that would be breaking on. This looks like a valid JSON file to me. So maybe what I will do... Oh, you know what? Also, if I import it like this, I believe it's imported as a JavaScript object. So I can't just write a JavaScript object like this. Is that what it's complaining about? Or is it when it tries to import it at the top? I think it's when it imports it at the top, we get the error. Just to confirm, I want to see if it can load in the React one. So if it starts this no problem, it does. Let's see if the node one works. All right, it breaks on the node one too. So something is in the React Native or the node one that is causing a problem. So normally I would go through one by one and comment each one of these out to try to figure out which one it is. But for the sake of time, I'm going to just create a new file called tsconfigs.js. And we're going to export. Actually, you know what? I don't think I can export in just a regular JS file. So maybe I have to do this. put it right here so we're gonna say TS configs the react the react one loads just fine try to decide if I want to just import it like that yeah let's do that so we'll say JSON dot stringify this TS config and then for the react native one here we'll do react native I'm gonna just copy paste And then for node, all right. So now I'm going to say TS configs And we can just directly pass in the framework here. So because we have the mapping up here, React goes to this, React Native goes to that, Node goes to that. We just pass the framework directly and the map will figure it out for us. All right, so let's put this back and now let's give this another run. Oh, I didn't remove the import at the top. All right, let's pick the React one first to see what happened. So we can see a TS config was created and it's not pretty, but that's okay. Give it a save and now it's pretty. And cool, we can see the TS config was created. So let's delete that. And let's do our React native one. That worked great too. Give it a save. And we can say npm start and just check our node one works. Yep, that one worked too, so cool. So we have our CLI pretty much done. I'm going to see if I can figure out why I could not just require them at the top and see if I can get rid of this intermediate uh, guy right here. And then at the end here, we can just say console.log file tsconfig dot json successfully created all right so that is it for this video and the next one we are going to take the cli that we've built and we are going to put it on npm we're going to upload this npm package and publish it so anyone can use it and they can create uh, their own ts config